what is going on guys welcome back to another brand new division video and today we are going to be talking about the five things that you need to do before update 1.5 slash survival dlc comes out so this is something that i've never made a video on before but this is something that me and my friends just about always do before the new update comes out or something new comes out and we know that the gear that we have and everything all that stuff is going to basically be outdated and really not going to be that useful to us uh, this is based off of me, so you guys might not do some of this stuff, uh, but this is something that me and my friends usually always do to prep for, you know, it may be a big update coming out or some, something of that sort, so you guys understand what I'm saying, but if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on it, as well as subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, the support here has been pretty good in the past month, I appreciate it guys, and uh, yeah, I can't wait for this, but yeah guys, let's get right into the video, so... First of all, uh, the number thing, the number one thing that I wanted to first of all talk about is picking the gear set that you want to run in update 1.5. If you guys want to know about any gear sets that they change, uh, maybe when update 1.5 comes out, you guys can go and check out my recent videos. I talked about those. They didn't really change that much. They just fixed a few glitches, and then they added the new frontline gear set as well. If you guys maybe wanted to go for frontline gear set, you guys could think about that. Uh, but for me personally, I'm going to most likely stay with Alpha Bridge. They didn't change anything with it, really. Uh, and it's a really, really, really good gear set to run. So I'm going to stay with that. If you guys want to go to this, you guys can. Uh, but that's just something to think about when the update comes out. Second of all, uh, this is something that I've been doing over the past few days, and this is grinding to use some Phoenix credits. Uh, I know that some of you guys just, <laughs> everyone is lazy to try and get Phoenix credits and do the dailies and weeklies, uh, but they really don't take that long. If you're like me, I just do a bunch of search and destroys like one day, so like three weeks in a row I don't have to do any uh, search and destroys to get the weeklies. I can just do all the weeklies. Uh, with my friends and we don't have to spend any time uh, just keep that in your mind uh, that you guys will probably want to grind some Phoenix credits uh, just because that they have level 34 mods and most of you guys probably have level 32 or level 33 mods so you're going to want to save up uh, maybe for some blueprints even as well as the new mods as well as uh, new gear set maybe if they add blueprints for those as well so just keep that in mind guys uh, that they're going to probably be adding a lot of new stuff so make sure you guys got some Phoenix credits if you guys are wanting to get some of them so, coming in at number 3 is DZ Funds. You guys know that they've actually, they changed it from 1.3 to 1.4, the gear vendors in the Dark Zone. They actually sell really, really good stuff sometimes, so if you guys are looking to get some new upgrades when the update first comes out uh, right away and you don't want to have to open supply drops or open seal cash or anything, those are a pretty good way to usually buy some good stuff. But they are a little bit more pricey, so I would watch out for that. Uh, if you guys are trying to buy a lot of stuff, then I'd recommend just grinding the DZ with a few friends, just trying to get a bunch of DZ credits. But other than that, uh, the stuff is usually a little bit expensive there but if you guys have a lot of money to spend there then why not at number four is regular credits these are usually pretty easy to get you guys see how much I have I have like seven million just about eight million uh, and that's really not that much I usually spend a lot trying to recalibrating so you guys know how I am about recalibrating I'm always constantly recalibrating shit to see if I can get just the highest stuff that I can get on there possible uh, but obviously this stuff doesn't matter anymore I'm not gonna recalibrate anything uh, because update 1.5 is gonna come out and we're gonna have all new gear sets that we're gonna want to go for so uh, just make sure you guys stock up on your credits because once you get the new gear sets, you guys know you're going to have to recalibrate them a bunch of times to get what you guys want on it. So just keep that in mind as well. Coming in at number five. This is something that you guys probably all do, uh, but this is something why, that I wanted to throw in there because I know some of you guys are just these hoarders in the division. Hoarders. If you guys don't know what I mean by hoarders, you guys might be the type of person like my one friend that just refuses to sell anything on this game. He does not want to sell anything, and he thinks like he needs to keep everything, making second character, third character, fourth character, throwing all this shit in the character that he's never going to have, when he could just easily sell it in the gear vendor or whatever vendor you guys sell it at. But just let that be known, guys. Do not be a hoarder on the division. Sell anything that you guys don't need. Uh, sell any weapons that you guys don't use. Sell any gear that you guys know is going to be outdated and there's going to be no reason for you to keep it. I've already done this. You guys seen that I didn't have that much stuff on me. Uh, but in the uh, stash, I do have a few things left that I need to go over and just double check whether or not I want to keep them or not. Most of them are weapons. Uh, but other than the gear, I'm going to sell all the gear because there's going to be no point to keep it because they're all 229 and they're going to have 256 coming out. So there's really no point in my personal opinion to keep any stuff so just sell everything that you guys know is old and is basically underrated at this point in time because it's not going to be worth even running and 256 is coming out when the new update comes out so there's no point of keeping anything just keep that in mind guys that's all I got for you guys today I just want to make a quick video for you guys to keep you guys ready for update 1.5 because I'm so excited for this new DLC and update 1.5 that I just cannot wait yeah, guys, that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you guys are new. Comment down below if you guys are ready. I'll catch you guys next video tomorrow. Peace out.
eyes Look me in the face 